This week on Westford Cat News, 443 Westford Academy seniors graduated on June 5th. Annual town meeting will take place on Saturday, June 12th at Westford Academy's Trustees Field. The planning board voted in favor of drive through windows at restaurants. Is there a motion to recommend uh, for town meeting Article 21? I'm Joyce Polino Crane. Stay with us. Westford Cat News is next. A sea of maroon covered Trustees Field at Westford Academy on June 5th as 443 students marched onto the field awaiting the moment when their name would be called and they'd receive their diploma. This class fell under the shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic, prompting them to let go of some expectations and rites of passage. Here's the 2021 class speaker, Robin Bryce. Over these past few months, each time I have been asked what grade I am in, when I say senior, the response is always the same. That's sad, pitiful, oh, I'm sorry. We're told we are the COVID class. We're told we missed out. We're told we were robbed of our senior year, but this isn't true. Nothing in that box of chocolates could change the skills we have learned or the relationship we have formed throughout these past four years. We learned the importance of trying new things, being true to ourselves, and of not procrastinating. Although I'm not quite sure how many of us actually mastered that last one. We learned that in order to succeed, you have to give it your all. Whether it was hours of rehearsals, practice, or studying, WA taught us that you have to work for what you want, especially if what you want is an A in chemistry. DVDs for purchase are available at westfordcat.org by clicking on Our Services and selecting DVD Order Form. Everything came together for the 35 Town Farm Road Task Force, said Chair Ellen Hardy. The member's mission was to add affordable housing to the historic building, provide more space for the food pantry, and remove the training facility for the fire department. At present, there are 78 seniors waiting between five and 10 years to move into town-owned affordable housing, according to town officials. But with the additional 34 units to be added to the rear of the town farm building, the log jam may ease. The $2 million project will be paid for with community preservation funds if Article 6 is approved at annual town meeting on June 12th. Hardy said every member of the task force participated in making the project come together. Here she is with more. It's gonna be a win for housing, a win for historical preservation, a win for the fire department. Um, we hope a win for the water department to have the, the training facility on their land. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been one of the funnest, most positive committees I've ever worked on and I've been on a few. The five-member planning board voted unanimously on June 7th to recommend Article 21 to annual town meeting on June 12th. If passed, the article would permit up to six restaurants in Westford to have drive through facilities. Is there a motion to recommend uh, for town meeting Article 21 to amend the zoning bylaw section 21153810 and Appendix A and Appendix B as discussed this evening with the adjustments as outlined by uh, Bob in his discussion uh, of the two sections and I commented on them earlier here that need to be adjusted. I need to make one point that maybe you didn't catch. Appendix B okay. has been removed from the motion by town council. Resident Chris Kuntz wrote a commentary for Westford Cat News 
published on June 7th, asking voters to deny the petition. Find out why by visiting westfordcatnews.org and watch the entire planning board meeting by visiting westfordcat.org. Among the 23 articles to be resolved at annual town meeting this weekend is Article 15, filed by Barry Rosenberg, who wrote the following in a commentary for Westford Cat News, also published on June 7th. The best way to restore government of, by, and for all the people is to decrease the political buying power of the economic elite. Resident Wendy Welsh rebutted his commentary in the piece she wrote, stating Article 15 will not solve corporate greed and will have unintended consequences which threaten the constitutional rights of all Americans. Read more at westfordcatnews.org. And finally, another citizen's petition seeks to restrict motorboats on Kai's Pond. Article 17 was filed by resident Bruce Bunker. That's it for now, Westford. We leave you with Austin DeSisto's story of a delivery truck rolling over on Depot Street this week. For Westford Cat News, I'm Joyce Polino Crane. Sometimes deliveries don't go exactly as planned. On Sunday, June 6, at approximately 6.15 a.m., a Dunkin' Donuts delivery box truck crashed and rolled over traveling northbound on Depot Street near the east entrance of Lakeside Terrace. Residents of the neighborhood and surrounding houses along Depot Street saw the lights flicker three times before finally going out and staying that way. The driver was totally okay and unharmed. He was rocking around and fully conscious after he vacated the overturned vehicle. Police were on scene within minutes, with fire rescue services showing up shortly after. Reportedly, the box truck, traveling at a high speed, tried to correct onto the road, but instead clipped a supporting pole on the right side, snapping it in half. This put tension on the line crossing the street, which then snapped the pole supporting the main power lines. One pole ended up in the street, while the other was in the trees. A wrecker truck and tow truck arrived on scene to right the box truck and then towed it away. Power made out for the next 11 to 12 hours during a heat wave, when finally, National Grid crews finished putting up new poles to support the power lines. As this story continues to develop, you can expect more coverage. For Western Cat News, I'm Austin DeSisto.